already show you how to make these super cute spring hoop wreaths. Uh, they're actually really simple to make, but they're just really cute. Uh, and they're a great little piece to kind of brighten up any room. So if you were able to sign up for uh, the supply kit, these are the things that you would have gotten in it. Uh, the first one obviously is a six inch embroidery hoop. We also have three pieces of paper leaves, two or three uh, felt flowers, and then two or three burlap flowers. You also have a little piece of embroidery string of some color green, and you have instructions. Uh, if you weren't able to sign up for the kit, then you can get all these things on like Amazon or in a hobby shop like Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Uh, they're just all generally pretty cheap. You can also take anything that you already have around the house, especially if you want to make something that like really feels like yourself. Uh, but basically what you can do is you can gather those similar uh, accoutrements and then using these instructions essentially put together this craft. So with that out of the way, let's get started. Okay, now that you've got all of your list of items, we can actually start making our wreath. And uh, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is, you know, clear space. And then we're going to take our felt flowers, uh, these right here, uh, and we are going to assemble them. So what you do, is you take the the edge of it right here this little tip and then you're going to start to roll it in over on itself just kind of like that uh, and you're going to use a little bit of hot glue every once in a while to sort of uh, just dab onto the felt and uh, roll over on itself to keep it secure and it starts out a little bit uh, fiddly right here, uh, a little bit hard to do, um, but as you, as you go on, it's going to get easier and easier to roll up. You just have to kind of be patient and go slow, and every once in a while, dab a, a little bit of hot glue on it. Okay, and so we're kind of nearing to the end now. Uh, it gets a little bit easier as you keep keep sort of folding it in on itself, uh, and you can just keep dabbing that glue to really kind of get it uh, sticking nice. So yeah. So you sort of have um, this end part. Once you get into the center, the, the center end part, I suppose, it looks kind of like a little flat area. And you're just going to take some glue and you're going to glue down underneath that flat area, just a lot more glue than you've been using now. And you're going to put the flat area on top of it. And that is going to kind of make this little base for your flower. Kind of press it down and uh, then when you turn it over you see you've got this uh, this super cute little flower right there and it, it really just sort of turned out very nicely. 
and then um, once you've got that done you're going to repeat that with your other felt flowers you know whether they're big or small you just kind of make sure that they're in this general shape right here uh, and you go to the edge and you just roll it in on itself and add a little bit of glue to kind of um, secure it in place and uh, sometimes when you start it uh, it's a little bit loose or you might add a little bit too much glue at first so it gets a little bit like flat or floppy and that's okay you can just keep going slow and, and adding a little bit more glue um, and kind of as you go you can correct any excess glue or sort of loose uh, rolling at the beginning uh, but yeah it's just gonna be like that first one where you keep rolling and then add a little bit more glue and, and roll and then glue and just keep that on up And then when you kind of get to that end, uh, remember this is where you sort of secure the base and you're going to end up putting a lot more glue in that center area than you've used before on the flower, uh, just either under the flap or directly onto the, the center swirl. And then you put the little base flap on it. Make sure not to burn your fingers. And... Uh, yeah, then you have got uh, a really cute little flower. And so yeah, just gonna keep doing that with your flowers uh, until they're all ready to go. Okay, now that we've gotten our little felt flowers done, we can move on to the assembling. Uh, it's not too terribly hard, uh, but I do recommend that you sort of plan things out ahead of time before you glue. So I'm gonna put my little leaves on first and I, I recommend putting some underneath the hoop and some above the hoop to kind of get more depth. Um, and yeah, I think I think I, I pretty much like this. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to just snip off this leaf over here. And then you're going to take your flowers and kind of position them where you think they'll go best. Uh, it is good to not just cluster them up on one side. Uh, if you do, they will, uh, the hoop will be kind of lopsided. So you do want to think about uh, where, where everything is going to go. Yeah, put my little flower there and that one there okay and uh yeah so i think that that is what we're gonna do and from then on you're just gonna start gluing and you don't want to use too much glue at first uh not too terribly much because if you want to move things around then 
all that glue is just going to kind of hamper hamper your movement. So kind of sort of press it down into that glue. All right, so we've got our leaves placed and we can start putting down uh, the flowers. You need to be careful here because once again, you don't want to put down uh, a ton of glue up front. See this one, we're going to glue on the side. Um, but also you will need more glue later or these heavy burlap flowers just aren't going to stick. So you kind of press them against the glue and, uh, and leave them alone. Okay, and I think for this one, I'm gonna get rid of this extra little leaf right there because it's just gonna get kind of squished down. There we go. And now that'll be easier for me to glue the flower in. Um, and I'm gonna glue it on the inside this time. So sometimes you're going to glue on the top, sometimes the bottom, sometimes the inside, and sometimes the outside. But you want to make sure that you uh, have enough glue and really sort of press down into it at first so that uh, the flower catches. Yeah, it is uh, not super sturdy right now. And this is essentially what I want the hoop to look like, the hoop wreath. Um, but it's just not stable yet. So at this point, you know, picking off all the little strings and also needing to add some more so that we don't have that wobble anymore. So that's kind of when you turn it upside down uh, since putting a ton of glue on the back won't matter just as much and really at this point you are going to use a good amount of of glue because you want it all to stay especially if it's going to be outside or anywhere with high traffic so just now gonna wait a little bit of time to really let it squish in place Okay, and so that is, you know, much more secure on the back, um, but I do want to make some changes uh, to the leaves, too, because uh, the leaves, yeah, see, that was not properly secured, so we're just going to put more glue over there. I'm going to use the tip of my scissors to kind of press down so that I don't you know, burn myself super badly because this is the time when that's going to happen. So I recommend using something like the tip of your scissors or um, tweezers or something. Okay, and that feels better for that leaf. There. But uh, these front leaves are, are still pretty floppy. And then I want to use some of these little extra leaves that I cut off 
you don't have to, but I mean, they're here and they can just kind of hide some of our imperfections um, and give us an, an even more 3D in-depth look. So I'm going to glue it right there underneath my burlap flower and then just, uh, just sort of slot it into place and maneuver it where I want it to be. And yeah, there's like a little gap between these flowers. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue between them, a little bit of glue underneath some of the petals. And then I'm going to squish it together for a little bit of time so that they sit nice and flush with each other. While that's sort of drying, I'm going to think about know where I want the green leaves to go and yeah I think right there would be really nice just underneath that one flower on the back side and it's okay if it's not perfect on the back because you really won't see the back of it like ever So the last thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your embroidery thread and you are going to tie it to the screw at the top, um, the thing that holds the two hoops together, and uh, you are just going to tie it in a little knot. You want to try to keep it in the center as much as possible so that it hangs straight. Um, but yeah, so you basically just do a little knot maybe resituate it to where it needs to go and then do a double knot on top of it to make sure that it is secure all right there we go and then at the top you're going to repeat that same thing uh, where you just tie a little knot if you have a lot of extra string, um, like you really want a small hoop or something like that, you can try to make like a bow or, or something pretty, but I don't really want to get very fancy. I just knot it once and then knot it twice, and then I trim the edges so that they are approximately, the little ears are approximately the same length as each other. And there we have it. That is your spring hoop wreath. All right, and there you have your super cute spring hoop wreath. Uh, as you can tell, it does not take too terribly long to make, and it's just a really great way to, to brighten up a, a place. You could hang it on a window or a door or a wall, and you can sort of customize it pretty much endlessly. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment on our video or Facebook page, and also feel free to share pictures of your spring hoop wreath. I'd love to see them, and I hope you had a great day. Bye-bye!